against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now we have come to a very special uh, part of our commemoration. We have eight children here and are going to lay lilies in memory of the 40 children who died during Easter week. These children are inclined to be forgot about, but we're not going to forget them today. I would ask each of the children to stand up, uh, just over there, and um, I will call them. The 40 children were aged 16 and under who died during Easter week. And I'm going to remember today Sean Francis Foster, age two, Christina Cafferty, age two, Moses Doyle, age seven, James Gibney, age five, and Walter Scott, age eight. And Emma Jane will come forward and lay a lily in their memory. Thank you, Emma Jane. We want to remember Patrick Ivers, age 14, William Fox, age 13, Patrick Featherson, age 12, Charles Darcy, age 15, and Mary Kelly, age 12. And I invite Joy Doolery to come forward and lay the lilies. Thank you, Joy. Great to see the lilies have survived. <laughs> We'd like to remember Christ Christopher Andrews, age 14, James Fox, age 16, Neville Friday, age 16, Christopher Hickey, age 16, and Sean Healy, age 14, and I invite Gregory Feeland to come forward and lay a lily in their memory. We'd like to remember Philip Walsh, age 11, Bridget Stewart, age 11, William Mullins, age 9, Eugene Lynch, aged 8, and Michael O'Toole, age 14, and I invite Summer Dooley, come and lay her lily. Thank you, Summer. We'd like to remember William Sweeney, age 14, Madge Veal, age 13, Patrick Ryan, age 13, George Percy, age 9, and Eleanor Warbrook, age 15. And if I'd like to invite Dwyer Murphy to come forward with your lily in today in memory. Thank you, Dwyer. We'd like to remember Bridget Allen, age 16, Mary Ann Brunswick, age 15, Christopher Carhart, age 10, Sean Healy, age 14, and James Kelly, age 15. And I'd like to invite Emma Dowling to come and lay her lily in their memory. Thank you, Liz, um, Emma. We'd like to remember Charles Cavanagh, age 15, Patrick Kelly, age 12, John Kerwin, age 15, Bridget McCain, age 15, and John Henry McNamara, age 12. I'd like to invite Lily Ryan to come and lay her lily. Thank you, Lily. I'd like to remember Joseph Murray, age 14, William O'Neill, age 16, Mary Redmond, age 16, Christopher Whelan, age 15, and an infant that had no name was approximately six months old. And I'd like to invite Alana McCutcheon to lay the last and final lily in their memory. Thank you, Alana. And I know you took note of all the children dressed in the costume of the day, and you were wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Garamalco. Now I'd like to invite uh, Betty Murphy to lay a laurel wreath in memory of the seven signatories and the volunteers of 1916. And Davis is helping me there. Betty is laying it in memory of Joseph Mary Plunkett, Sean McDermott, Harry Pierce, Thomas McDonald, Thomas Clark, Eamon Kant, and James Conley. And the 
women were very important in 1916 and inclined to be for God, so we remember them here today. And I'd like to invite Carmel Monaghan Hutton to lay a Laurel Reed in memory of the deceased members of Common Amman. Carmel, please. If anybody else has any read now they want to lay, now is your opportunity. The most welcome. Excuse me. Interweaves opposites, strengths and brokenness, failure and triumph, sorrow and joy. In simple language, it indicates the complex emotions aroused by the rising and invokes the shared experience that binds our nation and family together. William. I do not grudge them, Lord. I do not grudge them, my two strong sons, that I have seen go out to break their strength and die. They, and a few, in bloody protest for a glorious thing, they shall be spoken of among their people. The generation shall remember them and call them blessed. But I will speak their names to my own heart in the long nights. The little names that were familiar once round my dead heart. Lord, thou art hard on mothers. We suffer in their coming and their going. And though I grudge them not, I weary, weary of the long sorrow. And yet, I have my joy. My sons were faithful, and they fought. to 
Now we'll have the raising of our national flag. 